I was recently trying to come up with an idea for something fun to build, and my mother, an elementary school teacher, recommended a visual way of letting students know how much time they have left to complete an assignment by indicating with a traffic light. There are existing products similar to what she suggested, such as the time tracker, but she said they were too confusing to use and not large enough for the whole class to see. She also wanted it to be able to track the noise level of the room, similar to the popular product the Yakker Tracker, but not have to use two separate devices. The other issue was the price. To get both noise and time tracking, she would have to spend close to $150 for two separate units, where I was confident I could build her a larger, easier to use, and all-in-one device for less money. Before starting, I came up with a list of requirements. The device would have to be a single unit that would work for tracking both noise and time, easy enough for a non-technical individual to use without instructions, be powered by a standard low voltage power supply, and most importantly, be large enough so that the entire class could see it. Based on the requirements, I decided to start with a pre-made traffic light body, which I bought on eBay. The product was designed for a bachelor pad and had AC powered bulbs that randomly lit up. For safety, efficiency, and ease of controlling, I decided to replace the entirety of the internals with LEDs and a microcontroller. I then quickly designed a simple interface for the unit and started to get to work on constructing the device. The traffic light is designed to be powered by USB through a port on its side, which means you can power it from a desktop, laptop computer, or through an AC to USB adapter. Once the device has been plugged in, to turn it on you can use the on-off switch located in the upper right. To encourage the user to conserve energy, if the device is left on without a mode selected, all lights will flash to indicate that the user should shut it off. The user can select between two modes, a timer mode or a noise measuring mode, and to select between modes they can use the switch on the left side of the unit. With the switch set to the desired mode, the user is prompted to press the pound button to confirm the mode. For ease of use, the illuminated screen displays prompts to guide the user through setting up the timer mode. In this example, the user is setting up the timer to run for a total of 6 minutes. For three of those minutes, he wants the green light on, then the next two minutes the yellow light, and then for the final minute the red light should be illuminated. The timer is now running. The screen displays the total time left, and then below that, the time left for the current indicator light. A duplicate set of LEDs on the user input panel shows what larger light is being illuminated and shown to the class. When the lights change to indicate a certain segment of time has elapsed, a buzzer makes an audible sound to quickly alert the class. A different noise is used to indicate that the timer is on the final segment of time, and that the total time is almost over. Once the final segment has ended, the device plays a short tune to let the class know that they need to stop their assigned task, such as a test, because the total time has elapsed.
To switch to the noise measuring mode, the switch has to be set to the right side and the pound button pressed to confirm. The desired noise level can be adjusted with a potentiometer. Here is a short demo of the device working in the noise mode. Thanks for watching this video overview of my project. For more details, check below in the video description or visit my website at joshuatz.com.